Hello folks, and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher. You have missed me, haven't you? Well, I'm sure you have, so let's get right to it. Army life bop, 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 bop. Wait, what am I even doing? Okay, main quest. I should talk to the most prominent residents of the outskirts. Speak with the Reverend. Sea of Reverend. Side quest, uh, Berengar. Hmm. Uh, I might read some of this, uh, these, uh, entries at some point. Um,. Uh, maybe the locations just to give the uh, background though it's a lot of information and of course the monsters not the formulas not the ingredients maybe uh, the glossary but and not the tutorials I mean the important stuff right Damn, I'm thirsty. Uh. Chicken sandwich. Hmm. A notice board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. Huh. Maybe you can. You never Sound know. Rain. Um. Arrest warrant. <sighs> it is hereby declared that the man known as Professor is guilty of numerous crimes against the crown, including but not limited to murder, assault, defying city guards and officials and other wrongs against the kingdom's subjects. Whosoever provides him shelter will be deemed guilty of aiding and abetting him in his crimes. It is thus the duty of each subject of the crown to assist the effort to seize this man. A reward of 10,000 orns is hereby offered to anyone who assists in bringing this man to justice, dead or alive, on behalf of His Majesty King Foltest, Vincent Mize, Captain of the City Guard. Let's read these. I need the blood of at least three ghouls. I will pay handsomely. Kolkstein, alchemist. The Church of the Eternal Fire seeks individuals capable of dealing with drowners at the riverbank. Payment is contingent on supplying proof of killing three of the beast. Bring their brains. Inquire with the Reverend. Okay. Bargist. Brave men urg urgently needed. Whoever brings me ten Bargist skulls will receive a hundred... <clears throat> a hundred Orans. Abigail. Herbalist. Herbalist. Something. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Folks, I gotta tell you, I'm tired. I'm re I really am. Ugh. Inns and taverns. Huh? Someone's fighting. Fat Fred. Whoa! Some tournament going on? We beat each other for coin! Interesting. Fat Fred will rearrange your face, just show me your gold. How much? Twenty-five orans. I don't have twenty-five orans, apparently. I don't have twenty-five orans. Apparently. I have twelve. Oh yeah, that's right. Elvin. You saved me, right? I helped. I wonder what'll happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's alright. I barely knew them. Oh. Oh. Chickens are dying like flies from the plague. Just listen. Okay. There's a bard. Vesna Hood. Kolkstein. Oh, that's the guy. Hmm. Three ounces of Optimum Martyr. 
a drop of mercury solution? Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem <laughs> then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> They say you need ghoul blood. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll nope. come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. Jeez. I was just gonna... What brings you here? You don't look like a local. You don't look like a local? I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. <laughs> Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. <laughs> okay. Um, do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Need any help from a witcher? Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. Oh, I already did. Alchemy. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Huh. Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, <laughs> what do you wish to know? That guy's a little, uh... <laughs> a little enthusiastic. Where do you get ingredients? Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. 
How do you obtain alchemical bases? How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. <laughs> I'm interested in formulae. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think I've heard enough. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. I asked you every question there was. What more do you Farewell. want? Farewell. <laughs> Um, so green text people must be more important in PCs, right? I don't know. It's been years. It's been years, folks. <sighs> Let's talk to this guy. Oh, I have to go around? Okay. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. <laughs> Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. Okay. What are you gonna tell me if, if I pay you five orans? The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the Eternal Fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. Huh. Oh, yeah. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. <laughs> okay, I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Uh, it's time I was on my it's way. It's time I was on my way. Alright, folks, I am going to cut it off here, so, um... Thanks for watching, leave a comment, and tune into the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.